Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to place images into an existing Photoshop document. So let's grab some images from Google Images. Right? So we have a hearts theme going here. So it's typed in hearts and we have a variety of images to choose from. So if you click on an image you get a preview like this. Right? Get down below and you can right click and say save image as and uh, often like this one it says index.png as the name so you want to give it something more appropriate so you can say heart one and then click on save all right so now we can we're not going to be picky here so let's go to the second heart right click save image as and be consistent in naming if you like heart two again click right click Save image as heart three. Right. So now we have a few hearts to play with. Let's go back to Photoshop and we're going to click on File and then we're going to click on Place. Okay, so it happens to be going to the right folder right now, but if you needed to, you can you know click on Libraries, Documents, find the correct folder. You know wherever it happens to be, it might not be in Documents, it might be on your desktop, for example. But uh, here's our sample folder that we're working with. So I can double click on that to open it up. And there are the three hearts that I've saved. So I can click on one of those files and then click on place. And Photoshop will put the image in to the document. And you'll see this kind of a frame around it. And there's little squares on the frame, little handles. And you'll notice that if you hover over any of them, your cursor changes. Right? And if you hover near them, you also get another, like that's a little rotation cursor there. So if I were just to click and drag, I can drag each side. Right? Now that distorts it. So I'm going to go uh, Control Z to undo that. And what you really want to do generally when you're resizing, sometimes you want to distort, right? But you want to grab a corner. So you're going to go over the corner until you get that diagonal double cursor, double arrow cursor, and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click and drag and you can resize it that way uh, keeping the aspect ratio of the image so it's not going to distort on you, it's just going to give a natural resize. So say we want it about this size here and but we don't like the position so uh, when you're not hovering over one of the little handles you have that little black headed cursor here you can click and drag and move the item uh, where you'd like it in the document. Now, before you can do anything else, like we can't go directly to another file place because this one hasn't been committed yet. Uh, the transformations in terms of size and position uh, need to be confirmed. So uh, two things you should know about that. One is that you can do this numerically. There are, uh, when, when you're in the... Uh, have, when you have this transform box here, you'll notice if I, if I click and, and drag it, the uh, X and Y on this top line uh, are changing, right? That tooltip is in an annoying position. But there we go. So X and Y are moving as I move that. So we could actually type in a value there. The same thing with the width and the height, right? So if you want to maintain the aspect ratio uh, and you want an exact, say you wanted it exactly half the size, you could actually do that. You could type in 50 for each entry, right? And uh, hitting tab or enter will, um, you know, actually uh, apply the change that you've made there. And you can also apply a rotation here, say uh, 45 degrees, right? If you need something as exact as that. But also, if you're rotating, as you, if you notice, you go around, uh, you hover near one of the handles and you can do a rotation uh, freehand. Okay, so let's give it a little rotation. So still we're in the position where we want, we'd like to place something else, so we have to commit this. There's there's a little arrow, like a check mark, I should say, uh, at, on that toolbar. So if we want to commit, we're going to have to click on that check mark. If we want to abandon the changes, we can say cancel transformation. Okay, but here we want to commit, so we're going to click on that arrow and then now we can go back in file place grab another heart right and let's make this 
a uh, somewhat similar size. We're going for that and pull it up here and you know give it a little bit of a rotation like so. And you'll see, uh, well, let's, well, we'll do a quick fix on this bit because that, it's something you should know. So you'll notice that because this is a square image, what I really want is for this heart to show in this space here. I don't want it to be covered up. So there's, there's a couple of ways that we can deal with that, right? So first of all, we need to commit this position in rotation. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? So, um, so here's the thing. When we are placing an object, a new layer is automatically created holding that object. So here we can see heart one and heart two in our layers uh, panel. If you don't see or can't find your layers panel, you can always click on window and put a check next to layers. Like if I, if I click now that I had a check, it's gone. But if I go back down and I check it, right, then it comes up and you'll notice that uh, beside, oops, window, here we go. Uh, beside layers, because it's such a critical panel, there's actually a shortcut. So you could actually hit F7 to toggle your layer panel. Okay. But anyway, now that you've found, no, we don't need that. Uh, now that you've found uh, your layer panel, uh, you'll see that the two um, placed images are in there as separate layers. So What's happening now is that these three hearts are over top of this one. So a simple fix would be simply to um, drag heart two here and pull it down and see that little black bar that goes, it shows you the position and it's gonna, gonna be the new position underneath. So now when we let go, heart two is underneath and, and we get that uh, fully visible heart one. Okay, and if we wanted to adjust the position of heart one a bit, we could click on the heart one layer and go to our uh, move tool here on the top and we can just kind of pull that over, right? Oh, then we get the same issue here. So, uh, you know, they're both going to fight with each other, which is great because now I can show you how to get rid of this little corner, right? So we've managed to fix the giant corner that was interfering with our heart one. But now heart one in the position that I really want it is interfering here. So making sure that we're, we have heart one layer selected because this is the layer that we want to affect. I can now go and I can click on my eraser on the toolbar, which is somewhere near the middle there. You can, you can click, uh, press E, you see E for eraser on your keyboard to activate that tool. Right. And then, um, The smart object must be rasterized. Rasterize the smart object. Okay, so it was placed as a smart object. It is now rasterized, which means it's now just an image instead of some smart thing. So I can I can now erase that little corner, and everything looks fine. Okay, so um, that's how you place a couple of images. That's how you can rotate and uh, move things around. Remember holding down shift when you grab a corner and dragging will help to resize it. Uh, remember that uh, placed images come in on their own layer and that moving those layers and uh, editing those layers can uh, be very helpful in terms of uh, getting the results that you want. Okay, hopefully that's a great introduction to placing. Thanks for watching.